refereeing his third Ulster final is Monaghan man Pat McEnany. And McGill again. Derry. With Sean Martin Lockhart to Anthony Toho. And that is an equaliser. Four minutes and 15 seconds gone. And the sides are level. Nice play by Cavan. Now they've got to avail of the possession. They've got plenty of support. McCabe goes for a major one. Sean Martin Lockhart. In the shoulder to Seamus Downey as well. The support is in the form of Fergal McCusker, and the point is taken by Fergal McCusker. Ronan Carolyn is available and pumps it into the space for Larry Riley to chase. He gets there ahead of Kieran McKeever, head down, twisting like a ballerina, moves and scores like a top-class corner forward. Kieran McKeever leaving Larry Riley unmarked. Joe Brawley is being marked by Jerry Sheridan. Sheridan trying to stay goal side of him. Brawley cuts inside and Brawley, as usual, finds the target. At half-time here at Clonus, it's Derry, nine points. Cavan, nine points. Pumping it in towards Stephen King. And he gets inside. Here's the captain of Cavan and he hops it off the crossbar. It's still in play. Ray Cunningham back to Fintic Cal. Knew he was going to be blocked. Did a little shimmy, and there's his first point of the Ulster final. Coming into challenge, Peter Riley is Sean Martin Lockhart. Getting it forward, Cavan playing with great confidence and composure. Ronan Carolyn on the overlap, this time with her left foot, and he puts it over the bar. Five points for Ronan Carolyn. Cavan, for the first time ever, lead by three points with Raymond Cunningham from Kilmainham Wood in County Mead. Played all his club football there. Born in the county of Gavin. Gives it to Ronan Carolyn, who puts it magnificently over Damien McCusker's crossbar. Sean Martin Lockhart to Johnny McBride. Cavan now have to suffer a little bit of pressure. Given a lot of space, McBride goes forward and he shoots an incredible point. Cavan have to show a bit of character now. It's a good ball. A chance for Jason Riley. Giving it inside and a goal for Cavan. Jason Riley. Anthony Toho. Can Derry come back and equalise? Oh, that's a sweet ball. To that man again, Kieran McKeever. Here's Gary McGill. There's a goal opportunity here. He's going for it. What a brilliant save by Paul O'Dowd. A point-blank save. Everybody is up on their feet along the Cavan bench. Martin McHugh is about to lead Cavan back to the promised land. They have to hold possession now, Cavan. The final whistle blows. You can look at your television sets again because the people of Kevin can rejoice. The long wait is over. The famine has been ended. An Anglo self, her Anglo self, her top king, come on, come on, Stephen McEnroe. The king has his crown. Kevin have the anglo Celt Cup. The Breffney County are the Ulster champions. Connolly catches up and running and Gary McKeown gets that first ball into his chest. And an early ball in as well was taken very nicely by Thomas Galligan. And a chance at the opening score. It's taken barely 10 seconds. Connor Brady. Kiernan calls for it and gets it. 
McVitie again calling for it was Niall Murray one of the stars of those under 21 sides that won four in a row off his left boots and he doubles Cavan's lead okay, three points last summer Niall Murray's up and running here already here's Martin O'Reilly Martin O'Reilly rather onto that left foot as he drives one inside brilliant ball into Madden and Began so tall he's committed the foul though and that is a penalty for Cavan Martin Riley against Began tucked away. It's a dream start for Cavan. And now the Cavan players flood into the attack. This counter-attacking game. Across it goes to Madden, who made the penalty, and now he's popped one over a bar. What a start to the game it's been by Connor Madden, who's been in the thick of it from the start. Taken by McVitie. This is McKernan. He can certainly fire them over from range. Will McKenna get a block in? He doesn't manage to do so, and Gerald McKiernan finds the target. Really good score. And now there's an opportunity for Cavan, and Niall Murray, who's already kicked one. But when the opportunities are presented themselves, Cavan's efficiency has been vastly superior to that of Monaghan. Jared Smith now picking up an advanced position. Rahel. Jinx into the space, drops it out to the instep of his right boot. Cavan, patient, composed in their build of play and lethal in their execution of the finish. And he's easily got beyond Carl O'Connell there. And then that left foot again. It's another brilliant ball in to Madden. Takes his time and pops it over. And Cavan dominating on the scoreboard, certainly. The lead is seven. Half time in Kingspan Breffany. Cavan won eight. Monaghan four points. They're coming forward looking for another one here. Stephen O'Hanlon gives it off to Shane Carey. And it's two in a row for Monaghan. And is that the start of the comeback? And it'll be the most experienced man in the Cavan panel that will be coming in in a moment. Kean Mackey as Began slides one into that forward line. On the loop is Kieran Hughes. And now there's space for Ryan Wiley. Wiley onto his right foot. Wiley over the bar. And the lead is down to three. And into the space they go, Cavan desperately needing a score, and they've got one. And it's come from the full-back Pauli Faulkner. That was a better ball in from Cavan this time to Thomas Galligan. McKiernan, the star of this Cavan team, takes his time and puts them back into a four-point lead. Galligan's kickouts haven't gone too well. If they manage to win this ball in the air, it might just be enough. McKiernan breaks it down. There's the full-time whistle. Cavan beat Monaghan at Kingspan Breckley Park for the first time in 32 years. And Mickey Graham's first championship match in charge sees them into the Ulster Football Championship semi-final of the back of a performance built on that first half.